My dear friends, hello, hello, nice to meet you or nice to see you here again. And your friends, today, as you may guess, we continue talking about adjectives. And today, specifically, we will talk about the endings of the adjectives. Your friends, I will be honest with you, the endings of the adjectives which is connected with cases and so on is also a really specific topic as it was with nouns but dear friends we are together all material was systemized so dear friends we will do it so let's start our video friends, I decided that I will make you free just in the beginning of the video, because look, your yeah, friends, this is the table of the endings of the masculine adjectives, and it looks horrible, and I absolutely agree with you. But your yeah, friends, first of all, this table is the most difficult table then it will be easier. And secondly, right now you just need to understand that the main difference of the ending here is just vowels which we write. But when we pronounce the words, the difference won't be such big. That's why you may learn not so many things as I give you in this table. But I decided that I need to show you this because you may find the different endings while you've been reading and it might be, you know, misunderstanding for you. So, dear friends, yeah, actually there are a lot of varieties of the endings for the masculine adjective. But the idea, the main idea is such. Look at this. Actually, we do have two types of endings, which is oi and ui in the nominative case. So, if we have adjective where the ending is stressed, we have ending oi. For example, maladoi, plahoi. If the ending is not under the stress, we have ending ui, for example, novi. And you may ask me, why do we have e ending as well, for example, tihi, sini, haroshi. And your friends, also you may ask, why tihi and sini don't go together? So dear friends, why there is such a difference? Ending e goes with all the hard consonants. But your friends, gkh is also hard consonants. But my dear viewers, you may even know already this that gkh are not friends with vowel e, and that's why they don't go together with e ending e, and that's why there will be e. In all other situations, they will be the same with the hard version with unstressed ending. Also, dear friends, in Russian language, we do have soft consonants, which sound soft. For example, N hard sound, N soft sound, M hard sound, M soft sound. And when we have this M consonant soft sound, we need to pronounce the word soft and that's why ending e helps us to pronounce the soft m, n and so on consonants easily. For example, sini we pronounce n, si, ni and then it goes e to pronounce it easily. We wouldn't be able to pronounce sini, sini it will be already sini. And your friends, the idea that why 
there are such a very variations of the consonants is because of the pronunciation. So we say novi and we say tsihi and we say sini and there will be ending e already. So dear friend, but the main ending is u and e is already a version of this u. So there are actually two differences. Oi, stressed ending, молодой, and unstressed, новый, ui ending. Dear friends, then it goes genitive and endings there will be ogo, молодого, нового, плохого, тихого, almost for every word. But dear friends, if we have soft consonants, we will pronounce like синего, because it's hard to pronounce Синього, синього, it will be already синьего, yes, it just to pronounce easily, and you may remember only the first version, молодого, нового, ова ending. Very well, friends, now I will pronounce everything more quickly. Dative ending ому, молодому, новому, плохому, синьему, хорошему. And dear friends, actually, we pronounce this word so fast that you can't even hear what specific vowel I pronounce. If the vowel is not under the stress, it's already pronounced really fast in Russian. And it's already not pronounced clear. Listen to this. Nova, Nova, Ava. I say like really fast. Ava, Nova, yeah. And Sinova, Sinova. Eva, Eva, you see in the ending it's already not real O and Ye. So dear friends, for the accusative there will be difference because if the word is masculine there is different in the endings for the accusative. If the word is animated there will be one type of ending, if inanimated another type. The same will be with the adjective. If adjective goes with animate noun, there will be ending ogo, for example, молодого, плохого. If the word is inanimated, ending will be oi. For example, например, молодой, плохой. Yes. Dear friends, for the instrumental, we will have ending um, молодым, новым, плохим, тихим, синим. E is the main, E is variation. And also we will have prepositional case and the ending will be um, молодом, новым, плохом, тихом, синим. So your friends, the idea is such. So your friends, if you are still alive and still understand something, then you may breathe because further it will be easier and easier because we go to the feminine adjectives. And there will be such a picture. Look. Dear friends, for the feminine adjective, we already don't care so much about stress. Because if we have a hard consonant before, we will have ending aya. If it's soft consonant before, we will have yaya. For example, nova, maladaya, plachaya, tichaya, balshaya, sinya. And only for the consonant sh, ch, r, sh, ending will depend on stress. Let's go to the genitive. For the genitive, it will be ending oi, the main, and you may already say what will be the version of oi. It's ye. When it's o, it goes to the ye in the soft version. Молодой, новый, плохой, тихой, большой, синий. Dative will be ending oi again. Easy. Новый, молодой, плохой, тихой, большой, синий. Once again. Dear friends, the next is accusative and for the feminine words we don't care about 
Is the word animated or not? We just say uyu ending or yuyu ending. Novuyu, maladuyu, plahuyu, sihuyu and siniyu. And your friends, the next case will be instrumental case, which is ending oi. Novy, maladoy, plahoy, tsihoy, bolshoy. Hmm, you already heard this ending, right? And the prepositional case will be what? Once again, oi. Novy, maladoy, tsihoy, bolshoy, sin. So actually, your friends, you need to remember that in nominative and accusative there will be specific endings and all others will be ending oi. Your friends, the next go neutral, singular neutral. And there will have two versions, hard version and soft version. To the hard version there are included z, sh, if ending is stressed. And for the soft version include sh, ch and z, sh if ending is not stressed. For your friends, the nominative for the neutral will be ending oye. Новое, молодое, плохое, тихое, большое. And for the soft version, there will be ending yeye. Right, синее, рабочее, свежее. For the genitive, there will be ого, нового, молодого, плохого, тихого, синего, рабочего. Ого, его. Your friends, the dative, it will be ending ому, новому, молодому, плохому, тихому, большому, синему, рабочему, свежему. Accusative will be Новое, молодое, плохое, тихое, большое. The same as for the nominative case. Instrumental will be им and им ending. Новым, молодым, тихим, плохим, большим, синим, рабочим, свежим. And prepositional will be ending ом. Новым, молодом, тихом, большом. Синим, рабочим, and so on. Very friends, you may pay attention that for the neutral words we will have the same endings like it was for the masculine. The specific will be only for the nominative and accusative case. Your friends, the last one. So see, we are already in the end of this video, so you shouldn't be terrified actually. Right? Very friends, plural. How to talk about plural adjectives? The nominative case will be ending uye, молодые, новые, and soft version will be тихие, большие, синие. So ending will be ие, уе. Уе main ие is a friend of уе. Genitive will be Ugh, молодых, новых, плохих, тихих, больших, синих. Once again, u e different. Dative will be ending um, новым, молодым, плохим, тихим, большим, синим. Accusative, there will be once again two versions. For the inanimated, we use ending uye. Like for nominative case, новые, молодые. For animated, we use их, новых, молодых. For the instrumental, your friends, we use ending ими, молодыми, новыми, плохими, тихими, большими. For the prepositional, we need to use новых, молодых, ending их, and плохих, тихих, больших, синих, ending их, a friend of их. So, your friends, that's actually it for this video. 
All the tables you may find on my Facebook page if you want to print them, for example, if the quality in the video wasn't good enough. So yeah, check it out. By the way, dear friends, have you seen that right now I'm also making shorts? What do you think about it? I actually really enjoyed making shorts and, and I want already more. <laughs> so yeah, dear friends, what I have to say. See you when we will have practice for the endings of course i need to check how well you learned the material mm -hmm. but dear friends for today i love you very very much see you soon so i could really russian you dear friends bye bye